Derby Day. Today, Spurs are playing Chelsea early kickoff, 12.30, which, you know what, I'm a little bit annoyed by. Not because I had to get up earlier, mainly because we played Wednesday, 8 p.m., and now we're playing Saturday, 12.30. So I've got a bad feeling the boys are going to be knackered. But today, we have the return of How Much Does It Cost? This is the London Derby edition at Stamford Bridge. So I know a lot of fans of you out there were asking for this one in the comments of the last video. Most of you obviously being abroad, not knowing what it's like to go to a game in London. It's not going to be as expensive as other days, like traveling away, because obviously there's no massive train ticket cost. There's no petrol I need to get. A lot of it is literally just getting a tube across London. And I think the majority of the, the money will be spent on food and drinks. But anyway, I'm going to take you on this journey. We desperately need to win today. But the problem is we're missing sun. Kane, Sissoko, our players look knackered. Bergwijn and Lucas up top looked gone uh, when they played the last game midweek against RB Leipzig. So hopefully they can find their pace today, but uh, I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive. But also saying that, Chelsea have got a pretty poor home record recently. So it's a 50-50 game. Anything can happen. I've got no idea what the score is going to be. We're going to kick things off with the ticket price. Now, as you might have heard in previous videos, if you've seen this, this series before, away games are capped at £30. So this ticket is £30 added to the total. And we're going to head off to the train station because first off, I need to meet my cousin at Seven Sisters. So let's get going. So for those of you that have been around a while and know me relatively well, they would know that how much I love my Costa. And uh, of course, I've grabbed myself a coffee and where's it gone? A ham and cheese panini, just to kind of start off the morning because I don't wake early enough to have breakfast at home. But that being said, as you just saw, that is 685 added to the total of our journey so far. So it's, it's starting off nice and slowly, but next stop is the train. And I think I'm running late, so you might see me running in a sec, but we've got two minutes until the train. Let's get going. Okay, so we've had a we've been a little bit screwed over here to be honest with you. We went all the way to Victoria because they said Green Park was closed because of congestion. I didn't know there could be congestions at a train station. Yeah. But either way, we went to Victoria thinking, all right, we'll get the district line. Oh. We are now end up getting a bus from Victoria to Stamford Bridge. You see Cos here with me. And now we're getting the 211 bus to Stamford Bridge, or at least most of the way. Even more change of plans. We're not getting a bus now. Aha, we found them. We are getting on a Santander bike. <laughs> Even better because it's going to take 10 minutes, or it's going to be 10 minutes quicker, and that's by their standard as well. So we'll probably get there in 10 minutes. I'm buzzing, let's go. So it's £2 for 24 hours, and then it's the first half an hour is free, and then you pay like a pound per hour or whatever. So the first thing is free, and then extra for every 30 minutes. So it's two hours just to rent it for 24 hours. Oh, uh, okay. Nice, nice. Right, we're on our way. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> this is how you get around London in style. <laughs> Later! <laughs> oh, Bark's parked up behind us. Over there, as you can see, my cab is back. I'm sweating. That was a lot of hard work. We're trying to go quick to get to the game, but you know what? That was good fun. What do you think? I mean, you're the experienced cyclist out of us, too, so he was fine. Well, you don't want to be stuck on a stinking bus. Oh, no, no, I'd much rather that. <laughs> Great little exercise before we jump down and celebrate. Hey! No, I want a reel. That was easy, two pounds just to get here because we've got in under half an hour. Next stop, the stadium. And I need to get my breath back. And I think I need a beer after that. Madrid, into Madrid, 
Now he hates the Chelsea scum. The Jose is a yin. Jose is a yin. Stay the love on the stage, being a yin. Can't stand, we sang in Spain. Sang in the sun and we sang in the rain. Trying to stop us in the way dead. Stay the love on the stage, being a yin. Being a yin. Being a yin. Stay the love on the stage, being a yin. Oh, when the spurs go marching in, I want to be in another world. Oh, when the spurs go marching in. Well, I'm David. Oh, look at you. Let them have the shot, let them hit the post and then to root on the rebound back in. Unbelievable. Your Chelsea goal scorer, number 18, Olivier Giroud! Always your route as well, always your route. Well, we set out defensive and that clearly didn't work. We've had one attack to about there, five. Nice. Unbelievable, one nil Chelsea there. Save there, post, and then just... Oh, VAR yeah, checking offside. I doubt, I... Wait, wait, it won't be, it won't be. Decision, go. Didn't think it would be any point, but... Ah, here we go, come on, Toto! Come on, Lucas! Oh, oh, I called a ball, come on! That's it, come on, Toto! Come on, you Spurs! Oh, better deliveries than so, so none of this Ericsson nonsense. Oh! Oh! oh. He's in the Great ball. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The ball over. Tank nearly got it past the keeper. Well, 1 0 down at half time is not exactly the ideal result. We haven't really been playing great. And to be honest, I'm quite disappointed in, in, in Don Belli. He's playing so bad compared to what's promised of him. I think the Celsius can totally the midfield for us again, but again, maybe one or, one or two chances, and that's about it. We just don't have the attacking threat without the striking more sun, so. I don't know, man. Got it that Giroud score. I said that we should have gone in January. He would have been playing today and would have scored for us, guaranteed, if that happened. But what can you do? Second half, needs to be better. Needs to be much better. At least we're shooting against us, like, into the away crowd. So hopefully they come over and celebrate when we win 2-1. Come on, man. Oh, I know we're in Chelsea, but damn, that's expensive. Probably the most expensive one I've seen out of ground before. All right, second half on the way. Yeah, that We need better than that. Come on, Spurs. Already. And it was Marcus Alonso. Your Chelsea goal scorer, number three. Marcus Alonso. Bring on Delhi and Lamella. Straight in the second half, 2 0 down. No extra time, win 3 2. That's not happening. We've got to go for a 2 1 draw. Best we can go for. So he waits until the 17th minute to bring on Delhi. And he brings up a forward as well. We got five defenders on. And he wants to take a forward. And Toby for Moria. What is going on? Wow! Actually, at the post. Inches away from being 3 0. Let's make him sweat. Come on! Lamella managed to glitch one in somehow. I think it was a good deflection. I don't know. I think he glitched in. It's a good deflection. Come on, man. Two minutes of normal time. What are you fucking doing with that? Who's going? I think Lamella deflection. I don't know. It was weird. Come on, Come on, Donald! Let's make him sweat, man. Let's go! Go! Oh, 2-1, one and off. Terrible whole game. What a joke.
unbelievable. Terrible substitutions. But the blame has to go to Levy. Totally. We went by a striker. Never looking like we're scoring. It took a glitch, massive deflection for it to go in in the 88th minute. Nothing else. So, totally Levy's fault. Not for buying a striker. What can we do? We've got a right after the season because we ain't going to score goals now. Until Sun or Kane's back, which apparently won't be until the end of the season. So, great. Just what you want to see. And to top it all off, I had a nightmare journey home. Just what you want to see, obviously district line closures as we saw earlier. Then you know what, I was like, yeah, let me go to Notting Hill and then get the central line to Oxford Circus. Of course a train breaks down at Oxford Circus, meaning it took half an hour to go five stops, more than half an hour to go five stops, which meant that it took me over two hours to get home in a journey that should have taken about 50 minutes. So as you can tell, I'm very happy about this. That's obviously another, what is it like £2.60? Something like that, I'll pop up on the screen. Um, for the travel there and back. I'm very disappointed. I'm upset. It's just not enjoyable at the moment, really, watching um, watching Spurs when you don't have a striker. So that's two games in a row now that we haven't had a striker and the setups just haven't, haven't worked. Lucas and Bovine playing strikers is just clearly not a thing. They need to be out wide. So whether you have Delhi down the middle... I mean, I, I personally think you should give Troy Parrott a chance, no matter whether... Mourinho thinks he's not ready or not because he's too young. I mean, look look at some of the some of top Premier League players. Walcott started when he was 16. Rooney started when he was 16. Plenty of other ballers started when they were 17. I mean, Troy Paris, what, 18 now? I think he definitely, definitely deserves a shout. And I mean, you put him on towards the end of an FA Cup game a couple of months ago. So why not play him now? Maybe play him in the Norwich game in the FA Cup. But oh, you know what? I don't know. It's going to be a very frustrating end to the season. And I don't really think there's really much else I can, I can say about today's game. So I'm going to leave the total on the screen now. That's how much it costs to watch a London derby going from one end of London to the other. Not too expensive compared to some other games, but food much higher price at Stamford Bridge compared to other stadiums. So yes, yeah, so that took a bit extra out of my wallet. But hey ho, that is the final amount. And next up, who we got next up? Wolves at home. They're a tough team. They're a very tough team. So no idea what to expect. I mean, Champions League is obviously doable, but we uh, seriously need to buckle up our ideas if we're thinking of getting that Champions League spot. So it's been your boy, George Akilia. I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.